Welcome to the EFS tutorial about the first project step, setting up a project. In the course of this tutorial, we are going to set up an anonymous website check as a sampled project for this and all other tutorials. In case you plan to set up not just one, but several projects, you can organize your projects in folders. To do so, click on Create Folder, then assign a name to the folder, describe it briefly and select the folder under which it should be placed. If you haven't set up a folder yet, there are no folders to select from, but just the default folder. We name the new folder Unipark and click on the Create button at the bottom on the right. The successful setup of the folder is indicated by a green short notice. By clicking on the default folder in the project list, you can see the newly created folder Unipark. In the next step, please click on Create Project in the menu list on the left hand side to set up a project. A template will be opened up where you have to enter your project data. First, select the project type. In this case, we select an anonymous project. By doing so, we generate a public server link which can be posted on a website or a newsletter. If you want to get more information to a personalized survey, please check out our introductory tutorial about the project steps. Then you have to enter the project title and the name of the author of the survey. We name the project Website Check. You can also select teams which should receive full access to the project. The team you are assigned to is listed by default. In order to select a different team, you have to set up a new team first. Keep in mind that you need the adequate rights to do so. Unipark Chair and Institute license holders, for instance, have these rights. Unipark Single License holders don't. Your accounting organization is listed beneath. All teams, projects and the number of interviews are booked on your organization. Then you select the right server message set. Server message sets are provided in more than 25 different languages. In this case, we select the standard server messages in English. In the section Advanced Options, you can choose the folder your project should be saved to. If you have not set up a folder yet, as we have in the beginning of this tutorial, you can only save your project in the default folder. You can also choose a layout template for your project. Unipark, for instance, provides Unipark standard layout in English and German. In this case, we choose the English one. At last, you can choose the status your project should be given after creation. You can choose among active, inactive and survey compiled by default. We recommend the default setting survey compiled. If you have entered all mandatory data, Click on Create button in the lower right corner. After a short moment, your project is set up successfully. The link in the green notice leads you directly to the project. This last step concludes our introductory tutorial about the first project step, setting up a project. If you want to get more information about the next steps, please have a look at the other tutorials. Thank you for listening.